Hey, this is Teddy Lim. Welcome to Project Limitless. Today is day 28 of my 90 day video challenge. And last week, Simon Mainwaring is actually a well published uh, business author and consultant on business and marketing, wrote this article where he talks about sustainability. And he points out that you know, sustainability has become sort of like this catchphrase for a lot of businesses lately um, who are trying to, you know, jump on the green bandwagon, so to speak. And he points out three things that I think are very relevant in today's marketplace uh, on what it means to be sustainable uh, and what we could actually do, what businesses could do um, to make sure that it's actually a way of being rather than a way of doing business or just something that they just say right so those three points are one is define what sustainability is right he started out as saying that you know it's just part of some green initiatives initially uh, and over time it expanded to mean um, an approach to a comprehensive program of environmental uh, responsibility that could actually covers you know anywhere from production of raw materials to the supply chain to distribution and marketing um, but he says ultimately you know he believes that it should be way more than that because it's supposed to be a sustainable practice of capitalism right uh, uh, capitalism has found a way or is, is a way of commodifying what's in the economy or what's in the ecology what's in nature right and putting uh, putting a price or an amount for the service that's provided in order to you know package that you know package that that item so what he's saying is it has to be a su sustainable practice of capitalism that is that covers e economically socially ethically morally and environmentally responsible as well right I think that's a really powerful point number two is is bigger always better he asked the question is bigger always better when companies expand you know they typically have different locations um, and you know they, they, they set up different hubs in different locations around the world so with location he says and size comes a lot of things you know there's a lot of things that come into play and for businesses, in order for a, a business to be sustainable, it boils, it has to boil down to management. Management of the locations, management of the employees. Uh, it, it also has to um, uh, manage the brand image of that company in that particular location, right? Um, I can tell you what, there, there's no better example of that than Amazon. Uh, because when you, when you log into Amazon, it's not the same each, in each and every location that, that your IP address shows up. They, they offer you different products and services, uh, different products when you live in Hawaii versus when you live in Texas, for example, right? So that's, that's, a very, that's, that's really um, a very useful idea that he actually uh, talked about. Last is the customer loyalty. When it, you know, we're still in point number two, but customer loyalty uh, is you know being able to manage that, right? People that are uh, customer businesses that focus on customer satisfaction end up losing the game, but people that focus on customer loyalty, those are the people that make it big, and they 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 have big waves and have huge followings. And these followers end up doing all the selling for them, right? Uh, third and final point is who is in charge of sustainability, right? He believes it should be a seamless and shared responsibility between leadership, employees, uh, and all departments. That way, you know, most, most, most companies, that, that's the way most companies should think about it. That's what he says. And... It shouldn't just come from leadership. Um, the idea of taking charge of sustain sustainability, but he also says that it has to come and be accepted in all in all levels, in all responsibilities, in all levels of the company, 
and everybody should accept that and the sooner that they do the less confused they're gonna be right final point and which is actually m kinda like my my sort of like two cents on this what people what companies should do in order to have a sustainable business is you know for, fourth and final point is to be relevant right you have to be relevant the product and the service and the ideas that you bring to the marketplace they have to be relevant. So that's it. That and that only comes from const, constant learning, constant adaptation, never being satisfied or where you're at or what your level is, because you know otherwise you you go with the way that the Walkman did, right? Or the 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 the, the eight tech eight tape deck, or whatever it is, right? So it, we can no longer dismiss you know sustainability as having good intentions in the marketplace right um, more than ever we have to recognize that it's actually a key business and profit driver right as, as well as a way to inspire greater employee shareholder and customer loyalty because our customers are our, be our best assets no matter what business you're in they consume your products they share about your products and they're defenders of your products too. So sustainability has to come from a uh, from a four point approach. These four points of approach, and you know what's really encouraging I've noticed is that the power of technology and how it can be used to speed the power of, of sustainability. It's really expanding by leaps and bounds right now. All right, so. I'd love to continue this conversation with you guys. There's a lot more things I could teach you. Go ahead and follow me on facebook.com forward slash global entrepreneur. And I'll see you there. Take care and have a great day, guys. Cheers.